why sigma males are more attractive than alpha males. Hey guys, this is a feminine way of sitting. Is it comfortable? Sure. Guy like getting drunk and like, you know, it beating, beating be his drunk. wife occasionally first. You and your mother. Your mother's a whore. Your mother's a slut. This is not a contractual agreement. You are not purchasing the woman. She is not given away to serve you. As a man, where do you think you are in your life to be able to tell a woman her value? Hey guys, it's Nim. What's up and welcome back or to my YouTube channel and welcome back to the Deep Dive series. <laughs> and you don't know what the deep dive series is this is basically where i sit down i do my makeup and i dive deep into a certain topic or certain topics and so for today's deep dive we are going to be diving deep into the alpha male fantasy so without further ado let's get let's get started <laughs> from the internet or maybe we just have a friend that swears by this lifestyle alpha males became a really well-known and popular lifestyle that some men literally swear by an alpha male by definition is the most successful and powerful man in any group of people also known as a strong and successful man who likes to be in charge of others so basically christian grey from the 50 shades series guys the birds please guys i'm trying to film a video alpha males also have a specific personality kind of like how everyone has a zodiac sign and matches the traits that belong to that zodiac sign so an alpha male's personality is meant to be highly intelligent powerful and successful and also before i continue i just want to touch on one thing the head honcho milk dud alpha male that everyone loves and adores i will not be saying his name or talking about him because he is a convicted human trafficker and i will not be promoting someone like that i think He's gotten enough publicity for the fact that he's literally a woman. So I won't be talking about him. Let's move on. The beta male is a man who is not as successful or powerful as other men. So like a little baby fishy boy that's a little bit of a submissive guy in this social hierarchy mindsets that these men swear by the idea of a beta male is someone who literally identifies as not being successful or powerful the omega male is the fish oil delivery man um he swears by the lifestyle that everyone deserves fish oil and deserves fish eggs and fish how no i'm kidding Guys, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was such a bad joke. By definition, an omega male is basically the ultimate loner or an outsider. Basically, this guy lives by his own lifestyle and doesn't let anyone else's opinion like change the way of their life. So basically, a normal person, a normal man who doesn't seek the validation from other men like an alpha or a beta or a gamma male, you know? Like, this is a normal guy. Basically, an omega male is a normal person who doesn't live by this social hierarchy. So technically, they don't identify as an omega, they identify as a man. Sigma males are, by definition, lone wolves, and they are respected for their abilities and their down-to-earthness. Sigma males are as successful and commanding as alpha males, but they are more independent and introverted. And personally, I just don't understand this. 
not very extroverted, you know, not very loud about their lifestyle. They kind of just are annoying about it, but not very loud. Basically, the list goes on from there. There's like Gamma, Gata, Zelta, Delta, all of those lists. A bunch of lists that are literally frat house names that people end up living by after they leave the fraternity. Would, do people actually go into the fraternities and then once they get out, they live by that? Do they end up living by that lifestyle? I think that's where it started. Like one, one day, a group of men left the fraternity that they were in after, you know, graduating from college and just kept living by the same lifestyle. Like anytime they want to have a new friend, they lock them in a dark room and force them to go through like initiation into their friend group, which I don't know about you guys but that sounds so much fun i don't know about you guys now obviously men seek validation from other men which i think we all do like it's not just men that do it I think we all seek validation, whether it's something like uprooting your whole entire life to fit a certain lifestyle like this, or something little like cooking for someone or dressing in a certain way. I think we all seek validation from people. But I think in this world and in this mindset that men live by, they will literally go against their own narratives and their own beliefs in order to fit into the world of the werewolf lifestyle changing your like for me personally i think changing your whole lifestyle in order to get respect from a group of people that disrespect women see themselves as superior to other people and deem you unworthy unless they see fit is kind of embarrassing it's very embarrassing and it must be a very lonely world if you do all of that and you still don't get accepted because this honestly seems brutal okay it seems like a very brutal um thing to go through and to push yourself through your friends through your changes of trying to become an alpha male because there are steps guys the long ass list that men have built in order to live by this lifestyle and to be deemed as an alpha even though you've gone through all this is absolutely ridiculous and it's very pointless okay. now whilst all people like women all have long lists of lifestyles that everyone swears by women have the emotional and intellectual maturity to understand that just because one person does it doesn't mean we all have to follow like little baby sheep or little baby fish or a pack of wolves like we're mindless drones i think we have i think for some reason it's just men think that this is like the ultimate lifestyle where seriously if i were to be any man in this hierarchy i would choose to be the omega because they live by their own lifestyle and they don't seek validation from other people in the most embarrassing way possible like them treating people as though they're less than you i'm sorry but that life must be so sad and scary and lonely and depressing so alpha male lifestyle versus astrology i see no difference i'm kidding obviously i see a difference but me personally, I don't live my life according to astrology. I just don't believe in it. But I think it's one of the things like religion, where people can put their faith into someone or something 
and basically put majority of their trust into this higher power because it's nice to have basically someone that you can count on i personally think live your life how you want to live your life as long as it's not hurting anybody now with that being said the lifestyle and the social hierarchy that these men in this world believe is that women that these men can define the value of women who gave you that right as a man where do you think you are in your life to be able to tell a woman her value and vice versa as a woman where do you think you are in life to be able to tell a man his value that's a whole damn human being that you think that you can deem unworthy or worthy of something or someone like men will criticize criticize and criticize women for loving astrology but at least stars are real these men live by a social hierarchy for werewolves werewolves don't exist love i don't know about you but i've never once heard someone talking about some werewolf i'm personally just saying that the amount of hypocrisy that these men have is utterly ridiculous and it's honestly a little bit embarrassing i think that at the end of the day the men that live by the ideology that women can be seen as property are completely and utterly disgusting the lifestyle of a social hierarchy is just honestly so old like it's just old that's the best way to describe it inside the old egyptian ways of life people lived by social hierarchy but once again in the old egyptian ways of life not like yesterday i'm talking b c bestie i think living by old old ass ways of life is honestly just living a fictional story in order to fit your narrow and close-minded beliefs at the end of the day i think that the men who are leading this lifestyle are just downright misogynistic and they're too scared actually no they're not scared they fully admit it they fully admit how openly misogynistic they are but I personally just think at the end of the day when this is boiled down to just like its raw form and it's not dressed up in a suit and a bunch of hair gel and the world alpha male I just think it's honestly just giving cult vibes I think that's one of the biggest ways to describe it and this is honestly a topic that I feel very strongly about simply just because a lot of people will conceal their ideas and their views and their opinions with a certain lifestyle when at the end of the day if you boil it down to what it truly is it's just straight up controversial and old i don't know why still to this day people will live by old ways of life like ancient i'm talking back in the day why people still live by those lifestyles because obviously they've changed people need to change and stop living by the old ways that people back in the day who didn't have what we have now who didn't have the evolved mindsets that people have now so i think the idea of living by old ass ways of life is one of the scariest things because people still do it to this day and it's very concerning but that's all from my side um bro it's still really damn hot i didn't think that it was gonna be that hot today uh i wasn't hot like i was literally lying under my covers was not hot then i filmed this video maybe it's because i'm anxious maybe because i'm so nervous because girl you look so sexy you always just make me so nervous i think i think that's why you're so damn spicy hot sexy mommy that you make me nervous and honestly it's quite embarrassing but 
thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to like oh um we just hit 200 subscribers what the hell i'm not just gonna brush that under the rug we just hit 200 subscribers <laughs> i could literally poop i could myself thank you guys so so much for 200 subscribers i'm so intensely grateful you have no idea but if you are not subscribed subscribe turn on the notifications and i'll see you guys all next week bye besties actually let me stop capping okay i have not been posting weekly and it's because deep dives are hard Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, besties.